Hi, I'm Javier from Instatech. In this video, we will see how we can connect Firebase to Instatech so we can build live dashboard using data from Firebase real-time databases. In this example, this dashboard is updated in real-time when a person uploads a photo to Flickr. To connect Instatech with Firebase, we will start creating a new deck and call it Explore and Visualize Data from Firebase. Then we need to add a new Firebase card. You can find it on, on the bottom. This card will ask us for configuration params to connect to Firebase. So let's open this new uh, tab and go to firebase.google.com and click on Get Started. We will create a new project in Firebase and call it Click our photos. We will disable Google Analytics for this project because it's a demo. We will also not configure security, but you should read a little more about uh, Firebase security and, uh, and allow only authenticated user to read your data. We will open for every user only for this demo. We click on continue. And here we go to real-time database and we create a new database in the United States. Start in logged mode. And now we need to go to project settings and create a new application so Instatech is able to read data from Firebase. We click here. We can call it Instatech. And this will generate the configuration params so we can connect to Firebase. I will reduce this, put this on the right and this on the left. So now I can copy this configuration params, API key to the Firebase card, authentication domain, application ID, project ID, storage bucket. You can leave for now to read all the events from the root and sender ID here. As I said, we are not going to require authentication for now, but first we need to go again to the database. So you click in real time database click on rules and enable here anyone to read your data, anyone with this API key. Again, you should change this later to allow only authenticated users to do it. And we click on apply. You will see that we don't have any data because we don't have any data on our database. So we can upload a new JSON file. We import it. And I have one file here on my computer with information about uh, photos uploaded on Flickr. You can see it here. And every time that something changes here, you will see that the deck is updated on real time. So now we can open, we can forget for now about Firebase and open our card here in Instadeck. And now we can say, for example, that we want to calculate and group by by country and count all the country, but this is I dragged and, and drop only the index 12, but I want for all the values. So now we have 
the numbers for the countries, the photo for each country. We can rename this variable to country. And now we can click here on the magic wand and say that we want to visualize a chart by country count by country and we can sort this and make it for example a donut or if you don't like a pie chart we can use for example a bar chart and now you can build your own visualization at the end you will you can have something like this and every time that you change an event on Firebase database or you upload a new JSON, data will be automatically uploaded here and connected to InstaDeck. But again, you should enable security here. Click on require authentication and on the on the Fire, Firebase side, you should enable security. Here, you should learn a little more about these rules and the settings about user and permissions. So that's all for now and we will do a, a deeper video about these security things and you can also see our other videos of how to create dashboard using JSON files. Thank you.